What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're learning how to sculpt your beard in under 10 minutes. This video is perfect if you're looking to trim your beard from home. Alternatively, if you're an aspiring barber or barber already, this video is right for you too. I'm working on my man James today. James has a real thick, bushy beard. We're gonna decrease the density, we're gonna elongate the facial shape and create a bit more of a Spartan jawline. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to shave, trim, sculpt, fade, and treat your skin and beard. So let's go ahead and check out which tools we're gonna need. First up, we've got our clipper for bulk removal and fading. Secondly, our trimmer for shaping up the tash and edges. Following that, we've got our clipper guards, comb and or beard brush, round brush, hair dryer, and finally our beard balm and oil. So before we dive into the cut, it's paramount that you have a consultation with your client. It's here you're gonna assess the growth pattern and beard density and go over the general style that your client wants. If you're new here, please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment, as every little helps when it comes to reaching a wider audience. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. We're gonna start by wetting the beard and applying a small amount of beard balm. Using your round brush, we're gonna blow dry the beard on a medium speed, medium heat setting and smoothen out the curl. The blow dry works by smoothing the cuticle of the hair, giving you a soft, straight beard that is accurate to work with. Attach your grade four and starting in line with the corner of the jaw, remove the bulk. Following this, you'll attach your grade three and then two and work up in the same fashion. What we're doing here is priming the surface, getting it ready for the fade. Remove your guards, open your fade lever all the way, making it a 0.4 or half guard and using facial features, you'll decide where to place your guide. In this case, we're going for a faded sideburn, so we're gonna place our guide at the bottom of the ear. Close your lever by two clicks or halfway. Again, using the ear as a reference, place your guide halfway between the top and bottom of the ear. Now close your lever all the way to closed, making your clipper now a zero, and remove the hair from the halfway guide up to the top of the ear. Using your one guard, open the fade lever all the way and begin knocking out the 0.4 line. Play around with your fade lever, gradually closing it until the line fades away. Flip your clipper and working in the opposite direction, work with the grain to remove any hair sticking out. Attach your grade two and work in the same direction with the grain, lightly debulk the beard, reducing the volume and density. It's absolutely paramount that you do not apply too much pressure here. If you do so, you'll take chunks out of the beard. To make any refinements, you can attach your grade one with an open lever and lightly remove any stubborn hairs that are sticking out. This grade one is perfect for removing the hair around the bottom of the lip. As we move on to the moustache, you'll keep the grade one attached and start debarking the top lip. First, go against the grain, moving upwards and flicking out just on the lip line and then follow up by flipping your clipper and debulking with the grain. Again, this is to remove the stubborn static hairs. Repeat the same steps for the other side before moving on to sculpting the jawline. Take your clipper comb, or just by using freehand, you're gonna start by sculpting the jawline. Starting in the middle, place your comb in and scoop out until it comes flat. This is gonna be your guide for the bottom line. Thank you. 
Work your way either side of the beard by angling slightly up towards the corners of the jaw. This helps with that progressive shape towards the chin and gives that more Spartan sort of look. Take a step back, assess your work before moving on to your refinements. Taking our trimmers, we're now introducing our final touches. The trimmers are here to finish off our shape and get the edges looking as sharp as they can. Follow along the edges of the beard and refine your look. When lining out the cheeks, use your face shape as a reference point. Generally, I use the lips. In this case, we're taking the line from the corner of the lip and working our way up in a slight curve. Add your finishing touches by further refining any stubborn static hairs using your clippers and or scissors. Moving on to our shave, we're now going to massage pre-shave oil into the skin before applying our hot towel. The pre-shave and hot towel will soften the skin and hair in preparation for a nice smooth shave. While the hot towel is on the face, you'll mix up some shaving cream or soap with a badger brush and apply it to the face in a clockwise motion for about one or two minutes. The badger brush helps lift the hair follicle to make shaving an easy task. Grab your straight razor and working with the grain, you'll shave up to the previously set beard guide. Once you've finished shaving, grab your hot towel, remove any excess shaving cream and clean up your client. We've saved the cheeks for last and this is so that the shaving cream doesn't hinder visibility when it comes to creating a straight line. On the cheeks, I only use pre-shave oil so that I can always see where my line is. Dry the beard off and seal the skin using your Allen block. Take your chosen moisturiser and apply it to the shaven areas. Finally finish up by spraying some perfume and applying your favourite beard oil. The beard oil acts as a conditioning treatment for the skin and beard. It will leave your beard with a natural healthy shine. I hope you enjoyed this video, hopefully you've learned a lot, even if you learnt one thing from it, it's been worth the watch. Thanks so much for your time and don't forget to subscribe. This is